What's up guys, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're looking at this light. This is the Olight i3e EOS, and I want to be very specific about that name because they do have a bunch of lights kind of in this size. Again, the i3e EOS. This is a keychain flashlight, runs on one AAA battery, it's going to give you 90 lumens of output. It does come in a variety of different colors, like uh, this black, we've got purple, we've got red, uh, kind of an orange color, a gold color. Every one of those colors, except for silver, is going to give you 90 lumens of output. The silver one has 120 lumens of output. But really what I want to focus on today is for a simple light like this, you're going to pay around 10 bucks. It takes one AAA, you're going to get 90 lumens. And maybe you're a person who's never carried an everyday carry flashlight. Like you don't think about it, you forget it, maybe leave it at home. Or you're like, I just don't have room in my, you know, what I'm wearing to work, my outfit, my pants, whatever. Or maybe you're a woman who's wearing a dress or a skirt and you're like, I can't carry a flashlight on me all day long. Well... This flashlight as a keychain light is going to give you illumination in various settings that you might run into in a, kind of an everyday life situation. So what I want to do is, uh, you know, I've given you the quick specs on this light, 10 bucks. You can find it on Amazon. I put links down below, but I want to show you how you can use a keychain flashlight and just stuff that comes up every day. So I'll show you some of the things inside and I'll show you some stuff outside as well. And maybe that'll just spark some thinking like, yeah, you know what? I do want to carry a keychain flashlight. Uh, one great thing about a keychain flashlight is that if you're out and you forget to put your everyday carry, you know, normal flashlight, like say you're carrying an O light, like one of the S1 batons or something like that, uh, you forget to put that in your pocket. Well, if you're out driving and you got your keys with you, then you probably have your keychain flashlight. So it's just a nice kind of backup to be like, in case you forget what you normally carry, you've got this one instead. All right, let me show you a bunch of different ways you can actually use this light in situations I run into pretty much every day. Okay, use number one for me, this is kind of a classic, is I drop something back behind a box, a desk, a shelf, something like that. So, you know, a tiny little keychain flashlight like this Olight. Look, very easily I can see behind all these boxes. So if I drop something way down here on the ground, I could fish back there and actually get it. For me, use number two is what you see right here. Since I work late at night sometimes, I come home and this uh, overhead light on my porch right there is off sometimes so i use this to come up and uh basically make sure i can get my key in the lock so i can get into the house use number three for me is this i often leave the house early in the morning and so because of that it's often very dark out and so having a light like this allows me to get out even if there's no other light out i can get over my car and head on my way similar to getting into my house sometimes i come out of work uh, and it's dark out, but the lights in the parking lot aren't on. So having a keychain light like this allows me to unlock the car easily and head home. The next use I want to talk about is using this as your light when you forget your everyday carry light. So that bush you're looking at is about 15 feet away. The tree behind it is about probably 25 feet away. And with this light, even as I walk around the side of the house, I can see quite well. I wouldn't want to have this as my only light if I was hiking through the woods for a long time. But uh, I can definitely see, you know, pretty much everything in front of me quite clearly out to about I would say almost 50 feet there's the house over there on the side so if you do happen to forget your EDC light this is a great way to uh, make sure you still, still have illumination capabilities here's another thought maybe you're out taking a walk and it gets dark before you expected it or maybe your car breaks down and you have to leave your car to go get some gas or some other supply well now you have a light with you that you can carry to see where you're going and also to let people know that you're walking down the side of the road Here's another use. I'm here in my hometown. I'm in a parking lot and that's one light. And the other light is way on the other side of the parking lot. So it's not like it's pitch black out here, but you can see in between the cars, still pretty dark. So if I actually had this light on me, I could put it on and now I can see quite well in between the cars. So if there's any shady character wanting to do some bad stuff, well, now I'm aware, or even just to be able to see around, you know, to be able to operate more effectively. There it is with the light. And without the light not pitch black but definitely like to have an extra 90 lumens in this setting here's one final use i want to share with you medical purposes maybe you need to look into somebody else's ear or down somebody's throat just to kind of check and see what's going on well with a keychain light you can do that so there you have it a bunch of different uses for keychain lights once again we've been looking at this one from olight this is the i3e eos great little keychain light 10 bucks, 90 lumens, and this thing has a nice spread on it. So it's gonna give you um, you know, enough light right in front of you, but also out in front, a little bit wide so you can see what's happening. Definitely check this one out. Once again, links are down below. And uh, yeah, keychain lights, definitely something worth considering. 
Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And check us out on all the social media outlets like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr as well. Take care.